Today we're going to be looking at the screen command once again. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at splitting our screen so we can see more than one terminal session in a terminal window. Uh, once again, this is great if you're SSH'd in and you can't have multiple terminals open, uh, or even if you're just working from an actual uh, TTY and you don't have a GUI interface going and you want to get multiple things going on the screen at the same time. So here we go. I'm going to type in screen to start up screen. We get our default little intro window here. We'll hit enter to get past that. We're going to go over in a future tutorial how to uh, disable that startup screen. Um, but in the past we have, as you can see right here, one terminal screen window running. If I hit control A C, I can create a new one. I can run a process. And I can hit control A N, control A N, control A N to just go back and forth. If we had more than one, we can go through all of them just by hitting control A N uh, for next window. So let's say we want to see both those screens at the same time. Uh, what we can do is we can hit Control A, Shift S, and you can see we've split the screen here. Now I've got my top window going up here. I can also hit Control A, Tab, and it tabs me down to the bottom window here, which we don't have a session running in right now. Now we can create a new one down here by hitting Control A, C. Or I can hit Control A N and go to the next one, which is right now the same as the top one. You can see if I start typing the same things typed at the top there. If I hit Control A N again, you can see we can go to the other session we already had open. So once again, I can run stuff down here. And if I hit Control A Tab, I can go back up here and do other things as well. Now we can also split the window the other way if we hit Control A and then the pipe symbol. So that's Control A Shift and then on my keyboard it's right above the Enter key, but it would be your pipe symbol, whatever it is. So as you can see, we've now split uh, this top section of the window into two sections. Once again, I hit Control A Tab and I can tab over to that new section. I can create a new session by hitting Control A C, and there we go. I can start. Uh, moving around in here, listing stuff out. So I can have three things going at once. And I like doing split screen sometimes. If I'm SSH'd into a server, I'll usually split the screen and have an IRC client running in the top while well, I can run commands in the bottom. That way I don't miss what's going on. So this is very useful to uh, get rid of one of these windows. First tabs are the one you want to remove. So I'll control a tab down here to the bottom one. And I'll hit Control A Shift X, and as you can see, it killed out that split. Um, I can hit Control A Tab again, and I can hit Control A Shift X, and it removed that one on the right there as well. Um, so once again, Control A Shift S to split the screen, and I can Control A Tab to move down there. Control A, oops. Control A C to create a new one. Let's do that properly there. Don't hold down Control A too long while you're talking. And then we'll hit Control A Shift X to destroy that bottom one. So that's another quick look. Once again, Screen has lots of features, and we're just touching on some of them here that I find very useful. Once again, uh, Screen is very useful, especially when you're uh, logged into a remote client and you want to run something having screen running means you can disconnect and then reconnect somewhere else and still have that same process you had running running and then access it elsewhere. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll have more screen stuff coming up here in the future.